back to the beaches of France. The Quicksilver Pro continues here. Round four action as we tee up these three names. Philippe Toledo and Stu Kennedy take on the world number one, John John Florence. Welcome down to the beach. I'm Gig Saliers alongside Ross Williams. Ross, what a big day. And well, it won't stop here as we go live action with John John Florence. Well, he finds his way. He burrows through a tube. We haven't seen one for a few hours. And guess who finds it? It's the tube monger himself, John John, wearing that yellow jersey like a Superman cape here in 2016. And he is in form, Ross, as he brings that for his opener. Wow, and that is exactly what you want as a surfer out here. You're dictating the pace right there with that start. He's going to be absolutely in love with that. Quick score to the face for Stewie Kennedy and Felipe. Now Toledo, same part of the bank, will unleash upside down angle for the first turn. This wave will go a little bit soupy, but Toledo knows how to deal with that, and he'll lash out at it. A little bit of Brazilian flair here. And well, as I say that, he'll spin to win. He'll bring it to a completion, so a quick early offering from Philippe Toledo here. Only three minutes into the heat, and of course, John John, way, way in discussion and focus here. Now out the back, three-man heats in round four, see Stu Kennedy finding his way into the left bank, and that is a good whipping from Stu Kennedy, who's happy to take it to the world's best here in France. Comes off the quarterfinal in trestles with momentum, tight rail drives here and a little upside down pickpocket as well so good openers for all three surfers to set the pace there you go so all three of these surfers looking very confident not looking tentative at all and that's why uh, watching heats with john john and felipe in particular are so much fun to watch they just do not hold back very aggressive always choosing kind of the craziest move you can put down on a wave but John, great reflexes to get that little barrel. As you mentioned, Giggs, we haven't seen a barrel in a long time today, this afternoon. And I love this finishing little snap right there, right in the backwash, and John holding on for good measure. So again, that's just a beautiful start for him. That's gonna calm the nerves, but a lot of firepower in this kid right here. Upside down, nice tail release there, but that wave getting really mushy after that snap. So uh, pretty a great result there, though, getting that spray off that third turn. And then uh, amazing how Felipe, he doesn't need any speed gigs. You know, he can do airs, he can do tail spins, whatever, with almost zero speed. And then a third wave right here from our third competitor, Stewie Kennedy. Big old snap. That was a huge tail waft, and he's good at those. Loves to ride loose equipment and really let the fins free. And also a very uh, precise little closeout snap there to finish. So all three surfers looking spot on gigs. Absolutely. Everyone surfing for the second time today. All surfers contesting through that round three earlier this morning. Ditch the fins right here. And that is exactly what he does on his forehand. He's got it on lock on his backhand as well. So Stuart Kennedy, he loves to have uh, kind of loose trucks on his surfboards. And he airs them out. He really is so confident with that move. But nice style, too, on that little cutback. And as we mentioned, he finished that wave, too. So it's not going to be a bad start for Stewie. The judges will start processing those numbers. And now we see a 7.33 arrive for John John Florence. So the backhand tube burrow, nice combinations for John John to set the pace. Slightly uh, shorter score by two points for Philippe Toledo Ross. So the judges didn't buy into all of that that Toledo placed on that bit of a soupy offering. And the judges will uh, process a number for Stu Kennedy to lock in the opening rides. As I mentioned, uh, all surfers surfing for the second time. Well, Stu Kennedy getting past Nat Young in round three. Here goes Toledo. Tight snap again. A couple of buckles on the wave face. There's that downshift. We saw Julian doing that earlier. And Toledo will exit. And now phasing over to Stu Kennedy. Second offering. Big vertical snap and he blows it. That's a big one. Now the wave's got a little bit of a buckle. You mentioned that very low tide condition, Ross, and it's starting to play into the lineup here. Wow, huge first move from Stuart Kennedy. He sent spray past the horizon on that one and uh, left out the back. No uh, food left on a plate for John John, so now he has priority. Well, John John, let's have a look at this. Uh, let's pull up this Toledo offering. 
Nice little snap there, but trying to get down the line. This wave so fast. And then all of a sudden the wave laid back, and so he's kind of forced to go for that carve down. Very cool looking move, but I'm not sure the judges will get too wrapped up in it. And then the wave got cut short for him. Kind of a similar wave here for Stewie, but this turn right here is so big. You know, again, that spray went past the horizon. Unfortunate, though, for Stuart Kennedy. That wave got cut short. There it hits that dry soundbar. All kinds of mess in there with the backwash. Not able to get a finish. Of course, we don't lose any surface here this afternoon just yet. Round four, running to the end. And you'll see John John now climbing up and tracking down, telegraphing something. Big hit with a big side swipe as well. It's just the one offering. John John dropped the one point score just like that. John did a pretty good job with that one move. All three surfers using the same part of the lineup here, Ross, and that is Kennedy back to work. We'll see if he can dart around that. He can't. It's a quick succession of numbers for the judging panel to catch up on. Of course, they owe John John for that uh, big maneuver with the side drift. They brought another score to Toledo, a 4.43. And here we go. This is John. You can see he's trying to eyeball this this swell line. Okay, where am I going to hit the lip? Finally, he says, "Okay, it lays down. It laid down for him." And that was actually a, a, a cool move. He kind of grinded the tail across the lip there. Again, watch his tail block. Now he settles in. He's okay. Here it is. Here's my opportunity. But that wave gets steep so fast, so he's going to release the tail and slide across that lip. That was so cool. Covered a lot of ground. So he almost did a floater, but a 2016 version of it. <laughs> In the late afternoon shadows, Stu Kennedy will switch the focus to the right-hander. And well, he'll go to the air. We see him playing this card more and more, and it's a dangerous card to play against the very best in the game, as Toledo now will look for an opportunity. So Stu Kennedy poking the bear, so to speak, <laughs> inviting Toledo and John John Florence to match him. As we look now at John John, and he'll go back to that tube stance we've seen so many times at the pipe. And are you kidding me? He'll burrow his way out of that. He'll unlock it. Wow. I don't feel like anyone's really got pressure on them, but John being very clever here, finding a sneaky barrel. And you mentioned he is a bit of a tube pig. Uh, he can sniff him out. So I think he's going to, you know, impress the judges. I don't think it's going to be an excellent score. It could be. Um, but, you know, he made the most of this wave. As soon as he took off, I was thinking, wow, this is almost a closeout. I don't know what he could do maneuver-wise, so it was smart for John to react to that. He kind of was forced to pull into that barrel. And as you can see, another tricky exit for him, so he had to bust out of that doggy door. Job well done, making a score out of it. Beautiful overview here of the sandbar in Hossegor, and that score has locked in, Ross. It's a 7-6-7. Seven, so a little seesaw taking place in the order of this heat, but back up to the top now is world number one, John John Florence. And it's going to give us corners like this. And you said how angry Toledo could become. He's going to go straight behind the curtain. Yeah, this is a beautiful run. Can he find the doggy door? The beach is on their feet. It will be an incomplete. And Gabriel Medina, that big, big heat with uh, Leo Fioravanti. They're both in round four. And here's John John's turn to display down the line. The master of the modern era will go like a cat and land. Reflexes on show. He just does that stuff in his sleep, Ross. Uh, that is so tough to do. Uh, it's, he's just such a gumby. He just refuses to fall on those errors. I swear his strike rate is so high. I love the first sticking maneuver right there. Nice little jam in a pocket and then right away looking for that ramp. And it wasn't a user-friendly one. It kind of went out to sea. You know, it didn't have that sugar-coated landing where he could kind of just have that cushion to cruise on out of it. He had to stick this into the flat. So watch his board as it flattens out. He's right into that clear water. Now, Giggs, when you land into clear water, that means you're really going to land tough. You know, it, you're going to have a lot of uh, friction going back up through your joints. Looking for that ramp. He barely gets it, just gets above the lip. There's the grab, keeping that board to his feet. Now watch the tail, right into clear water, right there, absolutely greases it. How's the Gumby mode right there? He flexed all the way on that front knee. 
And now we'll follow this wave with Philippe Toledo down the line. Gets his own version of the tube. It's a beautiful run. Still in there. Still in there. Now, are you kidding me? Toledo. Wow. Bringing it back to John John Florence's tube contributions. This is a big round four matchup. Just in a nick of time, too. Right when John was about to run away with it, you can see the score has dropped for the big air reverse from John. A 9.07. Massive score. But from Felipe Toledo, that was the longest barrel we've seen so far in his heat. And John's had a couple of decent barrels, so uh, he's going to join the party with excellent scores. Wow. There it is. He's sizing up a fast wave, but he responded nicely, getting one quick pump. That gave him just enough squirt to get into that barrel. And I tell you what, that made the difference between him making it and getting trapped inside the barrel. And just a little sugar, you know, a nice little backhand snap to finish that wave. There's the backhand. He saw that little weave he did. It's just one pump before he got into that barrel. And again, that gave him just enough drive to make it out the other end and a nice little snap. So it's going to be a big score. Ross, I was trying to do the honest count there. Around seven seconds in the barrel. Wow, that's big. For Philippe Toledo, that would feel like an eternity. And now a little wakey wave down the line here. Toledo, quick back to action. And he's going to go to the air rotation. It will be an incomplete. Seven minutes to go in this scintillating encounter. John John Florence, Philippe Toledo, and Stu Kennedy. Ross, you preempted to John John Florence's earlier tube rides coming in the seven category, mid sevens. So we'll see where the score for Felipe goes. And well, the best tube of the heat belongs to Philippe Toledo, and that's a big statement to say against John John. It's going to find an 8.5. So there it is now, appears in his top two score line. And it's bumped him up to second. Now, John John, all the beach focused on this man. As we see this huge showdown, it is high value here. And John John wow. will go for the rotation. Oh, I'm starting to run out of descriptive words here. <laughs> Keep them coming. You can repeat too, because you're, you're a man of amazing words. And he had to watch him absolutely air the fins out. Again, patience going around that section, waiting. There's the ramp. And a big old backside spin. Saw that front foot shuffled back. And that's so he could get back into position to go to work with a couple of snaps. So will that go into his top two? Let's see how high he gets above the lip gigs. Waits for it to back off. There's the ramp launching. There's the front foot sliding forward. Let's that body get it, the upper body get out of the way so that he could easily rotate. Well, look where the scoreboard has gone. And before we crunch the numbers, we'll lock on to Philippe Toledo, who's going max speed here. And wow, he's going to bring that to the table. Oh, are you kidding me? Everyone is oh, out of their smoke. seats. Now, here's a quick reference. The previous round, John John Florence went 9.4. Where are we going with the score, Ross? That crazy tone. I mean, that's this is where uh, in that crazy category where you don't see these very often I mean, that's one of the best errors we've seen ever in competition straight up and, you know I don't use that term lightly that statement lightly and that's how big that error was an absolute punt okay he's gonna have the perfect section that win we just talked about is gonna hold the board to his feet he went so big that's the main thing about this error you know it wasn't technical there was no grabs it was just him getting as high as possible the rotation was natural keeping that board to his feet that's just a big old punt right there. That was huge. Wow, the whole beach is on their feet. Rosie, you're down there amongst them. It must be going crazy. Oh my goodness. Watching that from sea level was pretty much the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen. He was just like four feet in the air, full rotation like you mentioned, corked out. Unbelievable. I mean, everyone following Gabriel Medina down to the beach, Gabriel had a front row seat for his fellow countrymen's performance. I'm just in absolute awe of what these competitors are doing right now. And the Ro whole crowd seems to be appreciating it too. Rosie, the entire panel are unanimous. Across the board, it's a 10 point ride. Not even one judge questioning that. How about this? Uh, like I said, they are doing their <laughs> job really well because that is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Philip Toledo just going nuts out there, really bringing it to, you know, John John Florence. He's going to have to pull out something humongous right now. It looks like he's up and riding. Oh no, Philip Toledo is not done. Under the lip, corked out, reverse. So, boys, back to you. This live action is frying me. 
soaking this up with us and it's not over 25 seconds to go and here goes the world number one john john florence top corner snap board speed little check and now you know where this is going and it'll be a little bit of a softer ramp for john john the beach are on their feet they are applauding toledo they are applauding john john and they are recognizing stu kennedy's part to the heat as well a massive massive round four encounter but wow it is an official result now we've wrapped it philippe toledo getting that win in the high trade-off with john john florence and through to the quarterfinals goes philippe toledo wow how good is this sport <laughs> felipe you beautiful little freak that was so much fun to watch